Refinancing your home just got cheaper. It's 2024. And recently in March, there was a State of the Union address where the president, President Biden, talked about an initiative to make title policies on refinances cheaper. So this video is going to talk to you about like, what does that mean anyway? How does that affect me? So if you bought a house at high interest rates in 2022 or 2023, you definitely want to watch this video and we're going to go into it. I'm Jen Hernandez. I've closed thousands of loans since 1995. I love to bring buyers real facts, no BS. So let's get started. Okay, this week we're talking about refinances. So if you have a high interest rate or if you want to get cash out of your home, for example, at some point you're going to refinance when the rates are going to come down, estimated in 2024. In fact, in my notes, I'm going to put some videos for you about the market and when rates are going to go down. So later, make sure that you watch those too. Refinancing. Refinancing is great. It lets you restructure your loan. Sometimes you can pull cash out, rates are down and you want to make that payment a lot lower. You might want to go from a 30 year to a 15. So many things can be done at a refi. It's, it's a brand new loan, like a fresh start, but there are costs involved. So depending on the state that you live in, the cost might be a little bit different. Definitely. There's going to be some lender fees. Now, a lot of lenders offer, Hey, we'll waive our lender fees at the time of refinance. So we need to figure that out when the time comes. But there's lender fees to refi. There's an appraisal. The house has to be reappraised. There's some recording fees with the county. One of the biggest fees, at least in the state where I live in Texas, are title fees. That's paying all the bills, making sure everyone gets paid. They're receiving money from the lender, maybe receiving money from the buyer. They're issuing a title policy to the lender of the new refinanced loan that there's clear title, that there's no weird encumbrances, no liens, that, you know, the tax man isn't coming after you, that there's no judgments. You know, it's, a, it's an important part of the process to make sure that this lender has first lien position and that all some of the bad things that might be happening to you in the background, if, if that is happening, that all that is wiped clean and you're ready to go. So my point is that the title fees can be a pretty big part of your cost again, depending on what state you live in. So fast forward in March, President Biden gave a State of the Union address and he mentioned, hey, there's an initiative that I've implemented to start with the FHFA, the Federal Housing Finance Agency. Sandra Thompson is the director of the FHFA and she came out right the very next morning after Biden made his talk and said, hey, there is an initiative that we are piloting a program to see for low risk buyers if we can not require the title insurance. So there's not a lot of facts out on this yet. So keep watching the channel because as it comes out, I'm going to let you know. But this is what that said to me after all my years of experience. A pilot program means it's not set in stone. For low risk buyers or low risk borrowers, we're going to make no title insurance potentially possible, which will cut out could be thousands of dollars off of your refinance. So you want to make sure that your credit is absolutely intact because low risk means there's low risk of you not paying. That's what that means. So you're probably wondering, what does that mean? How do I get the best credit? You want to stick around and watch this next video that I'm going to put right here at the end about credit all you need to know. So I'll keep you posted on what's coming out on the refi, but just know that refinancing costs potentially just got slashed if this pilot program does actually go into effect. Let me hear your comments and watch the video about credit that's coming up next.